Hey gardening peeps, Oscar Carmona, owner of Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. Here today to talk to you about how to grow vegetables in a raised bed. Now there's basically five things you need to consider um, when growing, um, when thinking about growing gar vegetables in a raised bed. Um, what those plants that you are potentially going to be choosing for your uh, garden bed require to grow well. Basically, we're looking at sunlight hours. How many hours in the day does your bed get? Do you have access to water? Are you adding good organic material to the soil and have good soil material so that you have a lot of good microbiological activity going on in your bed? Space, choosing the right kind of plants so that you're gonna give them the uh, appropriate space and, and uh, make sure they're not being crowded out too much. Techniques such as caging, vertical growth, uh, it enables you to access the, the dimension above the garden itself as a, as a space for plants to grow into, giving and setting aside more space um, on the surface of the soil for the addition of other plants. One thing that I do encourage everybody to consider, I call that the uh, fourth dimension or space through time. Please, please, please remember that your garden is a living, growing um, system. And as such, it's always changing and developing and maturing and uh, um, actually, you know, also getting ready to be replaced. So the more you can see it as sort of a, I guess I'd like to compare it to a conveyor belt that needs to be added to on a regular basis, short term things every six weeks, uh, seasonal longer things uh, every kind of three months is a good uh, 10 to 12 weeks is a good amount of time to reconsider a, another planting. As I always say, it's important to feed the soil so that the plants can feed you. I'm Oscar Carmona for Healing Ground Certified Biodynamic Nursery located in beautiful Santa Barbara, California. Happy gardening.